please welcome Chris Hill. <laughs> Hi everybody, hi Ron. Thank you for coming tonight and thank you for letting me talk. It's, um, it's a really special thing for me to be doing this because I'm sharing a very, very special uh, message. So what I'm going to do, I just want to have a little bit of audience participation first. So you might need a little bit of room, but I'm just gonna, we're just going to do a little exercise. So I need everybody to just open their arms like this, okay? So can everyone just open their arms? In a minute, I'm going to ask you to clap your hands. And when you clap your hands, I'm going to ask you just to clinch hold of them. So when you clap them, I want you to hold on to them like that. So after three, one, two, three. Okay, and just hold on to them. And I want you to hold really, really tightly, okay? And I want you to bring your hands towards your face, okay? And when you bring your hands towards your face, I want you to open up your index fingers like this. Hold them out as far as you can now. You must keep hold tight, please don't let go. I want you to imagine that there are two magnets in those fingers. And when I say one, two, three, they're gonna get magnetized. And as they get magnetized, they're gonna pull your fingers together. Okay, one, two, three, magnetize. Okay, I want you to feel how magnetized they are. I want you to feel those fingers coming together. And as those fingers come together, as they touch, you're gonna to get stuck. Okay, and I, I just keep holding on tight. And as you get stuck, guess what? Your hands are stuck, and your fingers and your hands are stuck. Now I want you to try and release your hands. See if you can let go of your hands. Anybody, let go. Okay, that's it. Just relax. <laughs> 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 so what I was demonstrating there, I'm demonstrating to everybody the power of your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind can literally produce a reality that isn't true, okay? My name's Chris Hill, and I run a website called beatmyaddictions.com. And from that title, you're gonna guess, yes, I teach people how to escape from addictions. And basically, my fundamental message is that the people that are addicted to drugs are living in a reality that isn't true. And through understanding the subconscious mind, you can literally escape from an addiction. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit of my story first. Um, I spent over 20 years addicted to some of the worst drugs known to mankind. I started smoking at the age of seven. Some 20 years later, I was using heroin. Now, I've never been proud of that moment, but I always knew that there was something fundamentally wrong with what I was doing. So I went in search of the answers. I started to read the books, I started to listen to the experts, I went to the addiction clinics. But even with all that help, I still couldn't escape. But what I did realise, that the, the want and the need was coming from inside me. It wasn't to do with the drugs, it was to do with the messages and the emotions that were coming through my body. And through that understanding, instead of looking on the outside, I turned around and looked on the inside and I basically started to self-talk. I started to talk to my subconscious mind. I started to teach my subconscious mind that this isn't what I want. You're sending me the messages to do these drugs, but I don't want this in my life. And one by one, I started to end my addictions. Now that was 10 years ago, but unfortunately two years ago, I lost my twin brother to alcohol and drugs. And it was so devastating to me that I just thought, do you know what, I can't, I can't stand by anymore and let this happen. I've got to be able to share my story. I've got to be able to come up in front of you good people and, sh and share what I know, because I know there's other people suffering out there. Now, I have a book, I've written a book. It's about my life, it's about my brother's life, but within that book is the answer to addiction. Over on the bar over there, I've got some leaflets and I've got some business cards. Please come and find me after and I can share some more of my story. But thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, and that's it. Thank you. It's not bad for a first effort, I suppose. <laughs> Give right. some feedback. Who's going first? Yeah. Steve. 
Me? Yeah. All right, then. Come on, Elliot. I was just, I was live streaming you, which is why I was. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK, good. So, um, hello. Where did I come from? <laughs> 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 Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> really well. So uh, last uh, training we did, we did speaker modeling. And I, I gave Chris Martin Luther King. By the way, if you take your initial and you put it to your last name, it's chill. Yeah. Uh, his last name is Hill. See, chill. Anyway, right. So in terms of feedback, so it was really nice to see you come from here, your voice come from here. Again, what I'm going to talk about is a little bit of your posture. So there, you know that feeling of needing to pee? Yeah. Holding your stomach in. You know when you really like, and you hold it from here, right? And not becoming stiff, relax the shoulders. Yeah. But, you know, and really opening up to come from that position and then start. What I'd like to do is, you're a bit of a rough diamond, mm. so this was a little bit about geezer in a market. Five potatoes for a pound, five potatoes, <laughs> you know? So just, it's, <laughs> it was a bit like that, right? I mean, I love him, don't understand that. What I want to do is kind of soften that. You can still have that kind of, that strength and that domination without it sounding too boisterous. Yeah. And I know this is first time on stage, you do brilliant first of all, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> And so, yeah, and I know you're really taking on because I said you need to learn to roar. Mm. So now we need to bring that roar, fine-tune it, and give it that power without it sounding um, thin. Mm. And that's really, but to see that come out, and the other thing is, Move. forward, forward, forward. forward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're hiding in the shadows, that's the other thing. But great, okay. for your first time, brilliant. Okay, good job. Okay. Yeah. Well done, sir. That's all right. yeah, get me too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know everything that Elliot said was absolutely spot on. Particularly, I, I speak, hear him speaking about pulling the shoulders back yeah. and standing and getting the roar out. He is right. Yeah. We need to get you to breathe so that it does keep coming from here, mm. so that you can throw your voice right over there. Yeah. Something I need you to do, apart from opening your mouth wider, yeah. maybe a, a little bit of exercise around your mouth before you speak. Yeah. So E's are very good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. That's a smile at me. <laughs> Laugh at me. That's <laughs> that's <a> <laughs> <laughs> the, as you open your mouth, the voice comes out. Right. Okay, and that's what you need to do. The rhythm, however, was excellent. Right. Really good rhythm. Intonation, your story, I have to mm. say, you had me gripped. Yeah. You really did with your story, mm. and the passion came out. Something I'd like you to try. Yeah. Pick up a children's book. Okay. It's a really good tip if you want to learn how to modulate your voice. And I don't know if you've got any kids around yeah. you, family, or what yeah. have you. Reading children's stories from a children's book helps you create that color in yeah. your voice. So even though your story is really good, it you is. need to bring it out more. Yeah. And practicing with a children's book is a really good way to do it. The pace was great. It drew us in, kept us engaged, kept your message strong. Just look at where pauses will give us a chance to really lock in to that passionate and the strength of your message. Okay. And the pause, they don't have to be long, five seconds. Yeah. But I've got you. Okay, that's for you. Thank you. Well done. That's all right. And good luck with the book. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm slightly going to contradict Elliot because I really liked the geezer side of you. Right. So every now and again, there was a little bit of that sparkle and I saw your personality, the yeah. real personality behind it. So again, first time up, absolutely. I know, oh my yeah. God, it's petrifying. It's horrendous. <laughs> so you're standing there like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And you got, but even when you say, oh, and I'm going to tell my story. And then you looked at me and you were like, you told me not to tell the story. And <laughs> you, you caught that and you were like, shit. And then, but actually the smile that came on your face and your yeah. personality, I was like, yes, that's it. I can see your personality behind it. Yeah. So don't be afraid to be who you are yeah. because inside someone's got an amazing message that you need to share yeah. and actually coming from your core we can all buy into you yeah. and we'll fall in love with you rather than just being the scared person like that. So, and I don't mind the geezer side. That's you can sell right. me as many tomatoes <laughs> as you want. <laughs> Thank you. Have a big hand, Chris. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.